My name is Lindiwe Dim. I'm 27. I'm a daughter, big sister, bestie, foodie, model, actress, creative, romantic, wanderlust. <gasps> Ten countries and counting. I haven't been to any new ones since the Rona, so South Korea is still my favorite right now, which brings me to anime lover, loner, extroverted introvert, nerd, scientist. I got the degree, but at the time it felt like it was more for my dad than for me. So I'm qualified, but not really a scientist scientist. However, I learned a lot about the world by studying environmental science. So things about our environment really stick out to me wherever in the world I go. I'm intrigued by the geography, the landscapes, the people, and how they live. Safe to say, my life has been quite the journey. So the other day, I had this plastic water bottle in my hand. I was about to throw it away in my recycling bin when I thought, I don't know where this is going. Sure, it's getting recycled, but what does that even mean? How do I keep living the way I do, knowing what I do about pollution, consumption, climate change, landfills, poverty? Is recycling even a real thing in South Africa? And so another journey started. A journey that began with a single internet search and ended thousands of kilometers away on the sands of the wild coast. But that's a whole story away. Hello Avashni, my name is Lindiwe. I just wanted to ask you some questions about recycling. First, I went to the source to see what I could find out. I met up with Avashni and she asked to meet at this estate where a recycling project that is supported by Safripol was happening. I'm here at the estate. I'm just going to wait for her to arrive so she can kind of like show me around, you know? I saw these gentlemen collecting and the gentleman came out and Debbie came out as well, which was one of the ladies um, who lives in one of the homes in the estate. And she brought out like tea and cake that she made and bananas. And they just had breakfast on top of the bins. And it was really cool to hear from the collectors. But I really wanted to know a little bit more about what happens after it's been collected from these people's houses. We're a local uh, resin producer mm -hmm. and we produce PET, mm -hmm. which goes into your water bottles. Yes. We produce HDPE and polyprop and all of this is used in the plastics industry to make okay. various different products. Mm. Currently, the waste management issues are huge in the country. Mm. So we decided to partner with the RO as mm -hmm. well as Petco mm -hmm. to implement separation at source. The residents in this area took up the program, you know, and we can see the bins. And really are very street, involved, yeah. Very involved. And this is giving plastics a second life. So I can imagine that from a sustainability point of view, you guys probably have a lot more initiatives than just this going on. Do you have yes. anything you could tell me about that yeah, maybe I sure. could visit as well? We also support the buyback centers. Okay. So the buyback centers actually buy the waste from the, the waste reclaimers. And, you know, most of these are really small businesses mm. that are really struggling. So, so they require resources in terms of infrastructure. Mm. And we've supported a project in Ermelo, the Bopelo Recycling Project, mm -hmm. as well as Ispepo uh, Recycling in uh, Umlazi Township. A large component of that project is actually a school's recycling initiative. Oh, wow. And she told me to go and check out Lisa Stienkamp's place in Rodeport. 